Hello guys and girls, Foxy Raven TV here with another Fallout 76 video, and I will uh, continue uh, for a video or two, maybe a few, uh, I don't know. But we are gonna continue with none other than no legendary modules for weapons. So today we are gonna check out this automatic enclave plasma rifle, and it's as I said, non legendary. It's all about the builds. Um, so yeah, I've been making a few videos uh, by now with uh, non-legendary weapons, and uh, yeah. So, we uh, have the Prime cap Capacitor. Again, I just like Prime, and I have so many Ultraside Plasma. So uh, yeah, I put the Prime on uh, as the only thing, really. This one has the Stabilized Automatic Barrel on, Stabilized Stock, Reflect Sight, and we use the Poker Paint. So that's it. For the... Build. It is something like this here. And this is uh, a rather tanky build, a commando build, non-stealthed build, and I need to switch this out again because I had to craft the, um, I had to put the science master on in order to on in order to uh, put on the uh, again what what the frig is it called? It's called <laughs> the prime capacitor. Anywho, let's get over the build again. So I will just hover over the build here. And you can pause the video if you need to. And remember, this is my build. This is how I like to, to play it. I like first aid and I like uh, batteries included, so I can have a lot of armor, ammo. And I also like Gunsmith and Nerd Rage. Of course, it's a bloody build, so Nerd Rage is a must. That puts us on 12 points uh, already here. If we put uh, Intelligence up to 15, then we could get a 1 star in each of these here. But, ugh, I mean... I don't. I, I don't, really don't like the uh, the uh, the science perk cards, <laughs> as you know by now. I, I think they're useless. I mean, the ten percent damage bonus they they give us just uh, no. It's a no no. Again, I I, I can show you. Uh, so if we look at the weapon here, eighty two, eighty two, right? If we <laughs> equip, I mean, it's gonna be ninety two. I bet you. If we equip equip them all here, um. <laughs> It's, it's gonna be 92. Now they are all on, right? And we look at it again. Oh, 91. Oh my god. It's it's 91 and not even 92. So 9 damage more. No, 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 no. I mean 9 and 9. 18. I mean... <laughs> for 6 points? No. Freaking no. No, 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 no. No, no. And no. That is a no, no. No, no. Uh, we had first aid on. One star. Then we had the uh, gunsmith on. So, uh, yeah. Again, the build here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna hover over them quickly here. And, uh, yeah. White Knight is good. Dodgy is good. Adrenaline's good. Bone Survivor, of course. You need Bone Survivor at one star. That's a must. Evasive is good. Bloody Miss and so on. Serumpidity. Ricochet. And yeah, 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 yeah. That's all good. Legendary perks are, as always, these here. The armor that I'm using is, as always, my un unyielding Secret Service armor here. Just... Plain standard with the deep pocketed on the boots. I, I think it it's deep pocketed. Yeah, everything is deep pocketed for more carry weight. Yes, yes. The torso, of course, jetpack. So yeah, that is that. The under armor that we are using is the shield daring adventurer under armor with the shield lining on for four strength, two perception, four endurance, tiny whiny damage resistance. Our mutations are Adrenorex and Bad Bones, Kennywar, Eagle Eyes, Egghead, Must Pale, Scaly Skin, and Speed Demon. We are, of course, fully hydrated and fully fit, because we are always on perfect bubble gum. And I just did the Mothman, uh, even so, 15% more. Yeah, experience. That rage is on. Yeah, let's get to it. So, instead of going over to the Giant Behemoth, we're just gonna start here. Not gonna lie. I put I I what the frick is going on here? Servers are getting messy. Bethesda, fix them. So yeah, I had to farm the uh, the barrel for for the weapon here. Where well, the weapon? I, uh, there we go. I had to farm the uh, the barrel at the train station server jumping because I had a splitter on, and uh, that is a no 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 no. That is a no no. So let's see. Yeah, the damage is not bad. It's not bad. As a, and as you can see, this is a rather tanky, tanky build. I don't know why I'm sneak. Uh, well, uh, yeah, I'm sneaking. I don't know why though. 
Someone is shooting at our Mount Myler Queen. It's not the best weapon. <laughs> can we take a hit? Yeah, we can take a hit, absolutely. Oh, we can take two hits. I don't think we should continue to take hits, though. <laughs> Just gonna go, go get up here. No, it, it seems like we're getting some help here from the... This is the Blood Eagles. Now they're shooting at me. There we go. A cultist. Yeah, this weapon is not... It's its not the best weapon, of, uh, for sure. Uh, not even with... Uh, please stop hitting me. Nope. Spawn survivor's not working now. Another blood cultist. What the frick? I'm gonna crit you. There you go. If you get a headshot, though, I mean, that damage, the damage is decent, if you're able to get a headshot, for sure. So yeah, a little messy here, and uh, as you can see, we uh, we were able to survive, survive easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I'm gonna drink a nuka grape, yep, to get my radiations up, then I'm gonna take some toxic goo here, to get it down again. Just so I can get my... Gonna drink a few colas. Ah, one more. There we go. Now, Bond Survivor should work, though. It should. <laughs> Anywho, let's get down to the giant behemoth here. So we took out a level 100 um, Myla Queen, and as you can, you could see, we were able to actually take a few hits uh, without any trouble at all. So yeah, the, as I said before, the build is rather tangy. Some builds you just you just don't need need them to be to be tangy. No, I mean I mean you don't need a lot of damage. Sometimes it's just good to survive and uh, yeah, especially if you're if you're using a lesser uh, a damage weapon like this one here. And this one is not silent. Oh, trust me, it is not silent. Um, it is a freaking loud weapon, and uh, yeah, yeah. The damage is not ex extremely w uh, good. I mean, if you have a quad, I, I do actually have a quad, but uh, and I even have it with me. But um, yeah, it, it's about the build now, and not about uh, the legendary effects. But if you have a quad, this one would do a lot better. I mean, I can show you the quad I have. I have a quad here, I have it for rats target hits and faster movement speed while aiming. Yeah. So 117 in the magazine. That is crazy. You can just fire this continuously. It just... Yeah. It's insane. Um, let's see how well this does against something like Super Mutants. And I mean, if you go in here, you could actually take some something out here, I suppose. Uh, you could tr take the Crown Pounder out. And then equip something like, uh... Actually, I like the hip fire accuracy. So you can see, this is more... This is a lot... Uh, a lot more accuracy... Uh, accu uh, I'm sorry. This one has a lot of accuracy to it. While we're hip firing. And hip fire... Is just something that, that I would do here. Because... It is rather heavy on the AP consumption. As you can see, 33. That is that is a lot. 33 each shot is a lot, and I only have like 400. So so yeah, that that is that is a lot. That's like uh, 12, 13, 14 uh, shots, and then we are out of AP. But we could we could try it. Um, just think the accuracy. Uh, while hip firing, you can you can use your jetpack and uh, drain uh, the plasmas down from from a bar and uh, so on and so on. It's just more me, to be honest. Uh, if I have to use a weapon like this here, but then again, that headshot damage is a lot, so uh, it might actually be worth it. I'm gonna shoot that. Yeah, there we go. 
Shoot the nuke so it explode. Yeah. That's headshot damage is a lot. He did he try to hit me? I was standing like miles away. Oh on yielding. And as I said before, this is a tanky, tanky build. And as you can see we can just it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we can just stand stand here all all day long and uh, just have a wag at them. So that, as I said before, even a grenade, it's it's no show to us. Sometimes it's just good to have a, a tanky build. Are we standing in flames? We are absolutely standing in flames. Sometimes a tanky build is, is just is just great. And I mean, it's it's a bloody build still, and you can see it's no no trouble. 300 times to the face, yeah, that is, a, that is quite a lot. That is quite a lot. Maybe I actually need. Yeah, I'm still. I'm also learning. Sometimes I'm learning here, still in the game. We can take the ground pounder off and uh, go in for something like the concentrated fire, just to see. Going inside of West Tech, I don't know if they're level hundred. This is a private world. Um, if they're not level hundred, I mean it's whatever. They don't do more, much more damage as level hundred, and they don't uh, need much more damage if they are not. Uh, let's see, 175, that's fine. Headshot. Yeah, yeah. It is, it, it might actually be worth uh, taking um, that on for sure. Let's press a harpoon, no. But as you can see, the AP is training like insane. If you're using this one here with uh, with the concentrated, concentrated fire, I would actually... I don't even know. Maybe take Ricochet off, and then go in with something like the Grim Reaper Sprint, just to have a chance to to get your 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 AP back when you kill something. That might actually work. Uh, let's see. One of Foul Hound. No. Let's get in here and see and test it here. Yeah, look at that. AP is full again. So three kills, AP is full. Yeah, that might actually be be worth it. And uh, take the ricochet off. Uh, it might actually be. I'm not gonna lie, and I'm not, not gonna deny that. But actually, uh, yeah, yeah, it seems it seems a lot better. And again, Grim Reaver Sprint seems like people are just ignoring that perk card for some odd reason. I mean, it is one of the better uh, luck perk cards in my opinion uh, on any commander build I mean getting your AP back to fall is just it's just nice just like that AP is fall again did you see that it went from like zero to to fall yeah this this weapon actually surprised was surprises me in vats 250 damage like that, and it's a non-legendary, guys and girls. It is a non-legendary. I mean, it's 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 not bad. It it, it ain't bad. Foul hound. How dare you bite me? Couldn't take that. Feel like we're missing a hound. Ah, pass. I do not even know. I mean, the VAT's accuracy is, is decent. I don't think I have missed a shot yet. Oh. I don't, I don't think I have missed a shot. As of yet. Nope. Now our AP is gone. So, yeah, even with the concentrated fire, your AP will, uh, will be gone at some point. Um... If the Grim Reaver Sprint is not uh, kicking in, it can be troublesome. There we go, full AP again. That's nice. Like to see that. And of course, if you take more damage, your AP is getting lower and lower. 
um, because of repair card. Um, what is it? Yeah, because of dodgy. There we go. Yeah, it's a it's a fairly strong weapon for sure. The only downside to it, though, guys and girls, um, is the uh, the durability on it is low. That is why a gunsmith is a must for a weapon like this. Look at that. We almost drained it. Just by killing a few enemies. If we didn't have that perk card on, or if we didn't have gunsmith on, whew, that would be, be a pain in the butt, to be honest. A true pain in the butt. But uh, yeah, there you go, guys and girls. And none... Uh, whoops. There we, not, not that. There we go. None legendary in action here. All about the build. I no, I switched. I switched a little, little out here. But normally with this build here, I'm not gonna run with that weapon. I'm gonna run with something like this here, a flamer. This is this is actually my flamer build. Um, what I will do, I'll actually do a flamer build. I'm gonna put a flamer on this one here. And uh, yeah, the next video we will be going over this one as a flamer. As a non-legendary, of course. So, uh, yeah. Anywho, take care. And I will see you there. Bye-bye.